asked frequently. Well, the question says, now, is this osteopenia seen adjacent? That doesn't mean essentially that will be seen only in it, can be seen other joints as well. All right, so today we will have answer to this very interesting and a very important question that is asked frequently. Well, the question says all of the following are included in Femistus triad, except there are a lot of triads in orthopedics. Let's not go into that space. But right now, let's focus on Femistus triad. So, Femistus triad, to be very honest, is a radiological triad which is seen on x rays in something which is called as tubercular arthropathy. When I say tubercular arthropathy, that means TB of any joint, usually a large joint. That can be knee, that can be hip, that can be anything. Let me show you. I'm giving you an example of knee joint just to make things easy for you. <clears throat> so, you are looking at knee joint x-ray AP view. You can see femur, you can see tibia, you can see fibula. First thing that I want all of you to focus on is exactly this area. I'm sure you all can see that overall density of the bone in this area where I'm using this arrow right now, it is slightly less as you compare it to the rest of the bone. When the density of the bone on an x-ray looks a little less or low, we call this condition to be osteopenia. Now, is this osteopenia seen adjacent to the joint? Yes. What is the word used for adjacent? Juxta for joint articular. For osteopenia, osteopenia. So, what you are looking at right now is the X-ray sign called as juxta articular osteopenia, which is essentially a part of the femistress triad. Not only it is a part of the femistress triad. Today, I want you to understand it is the first X-ray finding of tubercular arthritis. I'm sure you can see these <coughs> erosions, erosions, erosions. It feels as if you know, some cat or some rat came and took a bite. So basically, if you see these erosions, you should be able to tell me that these erosions are surrounding the joint. They are adjacent to the joint. What is the word for surrounding? Adjacent, peri, joint, articular. And what are the erosions? So that is the second thing. Third, can you appreciate that the joint space between the femur and tibia has been reduced? So that's the third thing. So what are we looking at? We are looking at the first X-ray finding here that is called as juxta articular osteopenia. The second finding that I want you to remember here is called as periarticular erosions. And the third finding that you all can see here is reduced joint space. Now, when you combine all these three things together, you land up into something which is called as femistress triad, which is radiological triad for typical losses of any joint. Although I've given you an example of knee, but that doesn't mean essentially that will be seen only knee, it can be seen other joints as well. I hope you understood this important question, which to be very honest is an overlapping question between orthopedics and radiology. Let's solve the answer. Very frequently asked question. So it includes except so juxta articular osteopenia. I told you, I told you that it is the first X-ray sign essentially to develop out of these three. Reduced joint space, I've shown you periarticular erosion, I've shown you subchondral sclerosis is actually seen in something which is called as osteoarthritis of knee. I would suggest you to go to my YouTube channel and see where I have covered two very important videos. One, I have covered a video, the link will be given in this description and the link will be there in the uh, video as well. You must be able to see somewhere here. So this is a video where I've covered all first X-ray signs of various conditions together. It is especially for those people who are in the revision phase for their entrance exam. So you should go through that. And there's another video where I've explained how X-ray signs of osteoarthritis of knee evolve over a period of time with aging, senility or senescence. I hope this video description helps you in understanding this important topic. Thank you.